What's up with young people not carrying ID, but have a picture of it? My state AZ now has an official app for your DL, so you literally never have to carry your physical one. Very convenient. Maybe they haven't been in situations where ID is checked often. Read a post earlier where someone said his niece or something made fun of him for carrying a debit card and not just paying for things off his phone. Pretty sure the answer to this question has more to do with younger people depending solely on their phones for everything. Some states charge a lot for replacements if you lose or damage yours, and especially in states such as Alabama that haven't shifted to full plastic D-Lit it's really tempting to leave it in a glove box instead of carrying in a wallet. The store I work at gets a lot of college students every day it's a handful of I have a picture of it dot which is a big no for alcohol and tobacco. Let me tell you about how to replace your ID in my country if it got lost first you file a police report, after 10 days to 2 weeks you go to the police station again if no one found it you go to court, and a judge question you about losing it. Then they issue an order of making a new one then you take the court order to the ID office and do the whole hassle of making a new ID all while continuing to report the police station of all of that or take a picture of your ID on your phone throw your ID in a safe place at home and never worry about losing it again. I do a lot of event bartending in a college town and they all seem to think a photo on their phone is acceptable ID to get alcohol. Sorry kid, I can show you a picture of alcohol in exchange for that picture of an ID but that's all you're getting. I won't accept a picture in your phone for alcohol sales. Government issue photo ID is full of all kinds of security measures to print forgery. Photographs on your phone or not. You should never be accepting photos as proof of ID. I too work at a college and have to check ID for some things. However, we are not lenient. No ID. No go. Go back home and get it and come back. We get a lot of grumpy people. Outside of driving, I'm not required to have my driver's license on me. So I often don't, because younger people are so used to having all their documentation in one place their phone, or a phone wallet case that carrying a wallet too doesn't seem as important, plus, a lot of pants only have two or no pockets, and purses aren't as popular as they used to be. It basically comes down to a mix of current trends and youthful ignorance, so many of those people are starting to learn the hard way as they get older that keeping all of your financial information on an easily breakable or stolen phone with no on hand physical backup is jarringly stupid at best. I've been working in bars for years and I was told specifically at the outset that a picture won't cut it. Real ID or no go. Pics are too easy to manipulate. I am a notary. The one job of a notary is to be certain the person signing is the actual person they say they are. This requires an official ID, not a picture of your ID, or having someone vouch for you I have been cursed at threatened, accused of costing me my fucking dream car related to no ID every time I reply with well, my advice is to contact your state legislators and work to get the law changed. But as for today, I need your physical ID. My son mentioned that he used to carry around a paper copy of his ID that may or may not have had the correct DOB when he started going out drinking. He told them that ID gotten pissed off at him repeatedly losing it, so he carried a copy rather than the actual thing. Yeah, when I was in customer service I had a kid try to show me a picture of his ID to buy cigarettes. Sorry dude, that's not acceptable in this country. Don't get it myself. What if phone loses power? Don't like to totally depend on electronics. Plus can't that be an image of an altered ID? Honestly I have no idea. I have carried my ID with me for the past couple decades. It's not that hard. I chalk it down to they don't carry their purse wallet and laziness. It's risky accepting photo ID because it can be easily photoshopped. This is becoming such an issue I've seen signs in stores that a picture of your ID isn't sufficient and they need the physical one. For like liquor sales and such. I don't kkw why they thought a photo of it was good thing. 